Hey, what's up y'all? Well, I'm still coming to you from an undisclosed location like I was in my last video. If you didn't see that, I was talking to my cool season friends, but by the time this comes out, I'll be home. So I'm in Mexico. I'm actually here on a boys trip with my two sons. My youngest just graduated from the fire academy. So this was a little getaway for us to celebrate together. But I wanted to say the video coming up here was shot several days ago, uh, a few days even before tropical storm hurricane Elsa. And because of that, the conditions that I was experiencing right there have just continued. The thing about it is the conditions that I'm talking about in this video are persisting. They're just persisting even worse now. So with that, let's get right into some straight up St. Augustine grass tips. And why does my grass look so bad? Everything's going to be okay, my friends. Let's go. All right, so I got a quick one for my friends with St. Augustine grass especially. Uh, it's just finished raining. I don't know where you're at, uh, but I don't know how it is where you guys are, but here on the west coast of Florida, we've had nine straight days of overcast for at least half of the day and lots more rain than normal, but temperatures and humidity are still humidity are still up. Some of that's from the trop storm that went through. There's actually another one coming, but that's not affecting us yet, but part of that's from the trop storm that went out uh, and came through, and then now there's just some sort of weird low pressure system or something. But the idea being, yes, we do get rain here every day, but usually it's sun all day, rain for 20 minutes uh, with sporadic cloud cover and then moves on. This uh, all day rain or half day rain, many hours of rain and overcast all day is actually wreaking havoc on St. Havoc on St. Augustine grass. People are seeing disease, even if you have a solid disease program in place like I do, the weather always wins. And that's what I wanna kinda get out to you now. Don't panic about it, this is just what happens. This is not normal, and because it's not normal, the grass is reacting in a way that it normally wouldn't, and also the fungicides aren't performing like they normally would. And so it's just one of those things, don't need to worry about it, it just happens. People are sending me pictures like this, you know, all kinds of brown spots, things like that. Is this is this gray leaf spot? I mean, look, it's, it's on one or two here and then it's on nothing over here and that is because the way this grows is we have remember long stolons all in and out of here right it's almost like a thunderdome going on in here grass turf thunderdome you know all these stolons are all in here competing and, and in the real world they wouldn't be walled off like this. But you know, this grass has been in here for 15 years, walled off, so it just it just always crunching and crunching in here. And so that's why you'll see some areas that are, are damaged, like here, right? But then right next to it, perfectly healthy. That's because probably there's a, probably there's a stolen running right up through there that's got some disease issues and the ones that are over here don't. That's the good news, though, is let the, let the strong survive, let the weak re recede, and, and things keep moving on. Things keep marching on. But for you, the, the lawn tender, you just need to control your controllables, which is mow often. When you do have disease presence, try to, present, try to catch the grass. Clippings, when you uh, do get a chance to apply fungicides, use two different groups. I'll loop, link up there to my current fungicide strategy, and you can see I'm still getting some fungus. But the other thing that I want you to understand is that this will continue to grow out. It looks terrible when it is low cut like this. Now, you're not going to be able to see it on video, but I can. I can see a lot of brown in here and stuff. You see it because you're the homeowner, but people from far away don't. And when it grows, the stuff that grows is typically not going to be infected, and so it'll look beautiful. Like, here, let me just show you what this looked like before I cut it. This disease was all here, but this is what it looked like before I cut it. Now, one thing I do want to point out is my St. Augustine actually doesn't really have a lot of gray leaf spot. Who knows what those brown spots are on the St. Augustine grass? Some of it's just like us, like humans, you know, sometimes you just get spots on yourself. You don't really know what it is. You get a cut, you get a bruise. That's what a lot of this can be. It's not always disease. And again, these are just times when things look bad, but I promise you it's gonna get better. The key point being not every single brown spot you see in your St. Augustine grass is a disease. It can oftentimes be other things and sometimes it's actually nothing. Yeah. 
another thing that happens when you have all this overcast and rain like this is you're going to have some rough cuts which i've talked about before i'll link to that blog post but you're going to have times when the grass is going to be wet and sticky when you cut it and you can't help it and, and when you do that that's when you get that's when you get these ends that look like this i don't know if that's going to show up on the gopro i'll try to get a picture but the ends just fray and then they just turn brown that's because that was cut wet um nothing you can do about it again it's just it's just the weather it's just one of those things you got to mow when you got to go you know and so <laughs> that rhymes anyway that's another thing right rough mows you're gonna have rough mows nothing you can do about it it's better to mow rough than to let it overgrow now i know what some experts are going to say because they read the university website and the university website said that whenever you have brown tips like that it means you need to sharpen your mower blade man your mower blades dull man sharpen your mower blade man hey man you need to sharpen your mower blade that'll solve every problem sharpen your mower blade man but really no my mower blade is sharp trust me i sharpen my mower blade more than most of you guys do and it's just what happens when you have a wet sticky mow and it's gonna happen because again this weather we don't have a choice. Another option could be to switch to zoysia. I don't really have any problems with disease at all in my zoysia in the summer. It does get some large patch uh, towards the winter and a little bit uh, over the winter, but not nearly as bad as a St. Augustine grass. And here in the summer, this is a very, very wet area. No disease. So that's another option for you. So, so to kind of put a bow on this, St. Augustine friends, it's a disease prone type grass. So it's gonna get something at some point. Sometimes the weather is gonna win. It's gonna be to a point where no amount of fungicide treatments or good cultural practices can stop disease from setting in. And the other thing is you need to realize you have 12 months of a year, especially with St. Augustine grass, we get 12 months of a growing season, most of us. There's gonna be some tough months. It's just like you as a human, right? You get sick sometimes, you get tired, you, you're going too hard, you're working too hard. Maybe you have a couple weeks where you're just sluggish and then you recover. And, it's the same thing with the grass. So when you have these times like this, you just work through it. You hope for the best and you do and you control your controllables and let the rest work themselves out and yeah, hope for the best. So anyway, quick tip today, St. Augustine friends, don't panic. You're gonna be all good. This will be better in a couple weeks once our normal pattern kicks back in. I'll see you in the lawn.